hey guys your inner chakras welcome back to the channel guys if you are new you are welcome i'm taking you into the sacred forest right and there i will find you an oracle card holy spirit and that or this one seems like it wants to come out but i'm gonna keep going holy spirit for the collective all right let's go with it we have the forest temple enlightenment and that's what it looks like beautiful card beautiful card number 19 number 19 goes down to a 10 the sound of de delicate chanting fills the forest you follow the sound as you walk down a meandering path into a small clearing before you a forest temple becomes visible as you get closer, it feels that the chanting is penetrating deep into your soul. Something seems to be shifting within you. Everything is the same, yet everything is somehow different. Meditate on the light within you and around you. Connect with the ever-present energy of the divine. Right now, your awareness is increasing. Your ability to understand the world is shifting more and more. You can see situations from all points of view, and this creates an expansion in all parts of your life. This card can also reflect times when you are seeing the world from only your personal point of consciousness, which is dramatically restricting possibilities for you. A one-sided, adamant view of life can block a vast influx of light, joy, and connection to the Creator. Strict adherence to your beliefs can obstruct wonderful opportunities from flooding your life. Be willing to step outside your limited points of view and see the world from the other's perspectives and your life will expand. In temples throughout the world, initiates withdraw from their surroundings in order to gain an expanded perception of the inner reality of life. Intuition and healing abilities emerge during these times. Light is flooding into your life now. With enlightenment, you'll feel the expansion from a limited sense of self to an awareness of the cosmos around you. The spirit of the forest temple says, positive changes are coming. You are lightening up. Feel buoyant and free. Your connection to spirit is deepening. Old beliefs about you, who you are, and what you deserve in life are falling away, replaced by incredible new paths. Woo, guys. What you thought was supposed to happen is shifting right before your eyes, right? Sometimes we don't want to see it, but we need to see it. But your life is shifting. Shifting is changing. Let's use this deck over here since that crystal quartz was sitting over there. So your life is shifting. Holy Spirit, what's going on here? In your life. In your life. Holy Spirit, what is shifting in your life, right? What's going on? Wow. The devil's sitting on your shoulder. The devil's sitting on your shoulder. The devil's trying to tease you. The devil's like, do you want this or do you want that? Right? The devil said, do you want money or do you want ice cream? But you want justice in a situation. You want justice in your life. You want things to be balanced. You want to get this devil up off your back, right? Whoever that is, that's a person. It could be seduction, lust, temptation, addictions, right? You're moving on from a devil. Your life is shifting. And you've been granted the Ace of Pentacles, right? That's new things, new abundance, new everything, clarity, life. So your life is shifting. This is enlightenment for you. You have the Ace of Swords. You're getting clarity on a lot of things. You're seeing, you're starting to see things differently, right? You're not, you know how you expect things of other people. You're not expecting that. There was definitely some betrayal. Five of Swords. But whatever the betrayal was, you came out on top, right? You still have three swords. You fought back, but you still have three swords. And you found balance after this. You got clarity into some betrayal, into something that's going on. Yeah. 
and you've been gifted this wheel of fortune you're definitely going to go forward guys you have the wheel of abundance this person this betrayal it broke your heart but you've have you've you've healed from this you've healed right you've healed and you just stop putting in work you, you're gonna stop trying you're gonna stop putting in work there because you're looking to find this balance right this new enlightenment that you have your new spirituality and you're very hopeful you're very hopeful of your future you're still a loving person even after they broke your heart you're still um, in a place of healing you're still able to love and heal others you're coming in as the queen of cups and they're watching you they're watching you be happy they're watching you move on whoever this person is spirit who is in their page of source energy it's a knight of cups in reverse somebody who didn't love you somebody who didn't offer you anything right or someone who took their love from you it's an emperor in reverse Someone who, who can't offer you stability, right? They can't offer you anything. And maybe you're realizing this now. You're like, you know what? This person shouldn't offer me anything to begin with. Holy Spirit, Knight of Cups in reverse. Yeah, Four of Pentacles in reverse. You moved on from this person. You have, you just, you had to get this enlightenment. Four of Swords. You had to heal. You had to take time out. You're meditating. Spirit, clarify this emperor here. Queen of Swords in reverse. They have another person in their energy, a jealous person that they could be stuck with, um, that they don't stand up to. They have no strength when it comes to this person here. And I think you feel that that's not your problem. So you, you just have this enlightenment that, you know what, this is not where I'm supposed to be. And you're following a temple path. Holy Spirit, clarify this uh, Knight of Cups in reverse. You're choosing to make healthier choices now in love and in life. You're choosing self-love, self-care. You're choosing to be happier. Who is this Emperor in reverse? Yeah, you're moving away from this person. This was a karmic relationship, guys. There was a lot of fleeting triggers, turmoil resentment they really don't like you you resent them this is definitely a lesson and you're letting go and you're turn, learning to love you holy spirit who is this queen of swords in reverse twin flame this is who they're with they believe that's their twin flame and it may be so they should stay with their twin flame right holy spirit they're not standing in their strength this person but that's not your problem Whoever the person is that they think is their twin flame is actually a girl with a snake. She's a narcissist. This person here, this king of cups in reverse that chose not to love you but love the person that they think is their twin flame. Well, this person is charming them. Uh, they're being used. <laughs> and now they're trying to enable their boundaries. That is not your problem. You're moving on. Holy Spirit. Yeah, you're moving on. You could be replaying old events in your head, outdated thinking. Spirit is telling you to let that go. And you did. There's the coffin right there. This is endings. Endings bring new beginnings, growth, change, liberation, and transition. You're getting up out of there. You're getting up out of there. Holy Spirit, clarify this devil. So this devil was up in your head for a little bit. Mm-hmm. Maybe this person was talking about, oh, I'm going to marry you. It could have been a union uh, that you probably thought this was a soul connection. So spirit made you think you're going to marry this person. I mean, not spirit, the devil. The devil made you think this is your soul connection. The devil uh, made you think that this was an everlasting promise or eternal love. And it's not. Hmm. But this relationship is over. There's no second chances. So the devil tried to offer you wedding rings and love and all this fake eternal stuff. And you said, no, <laughs> this relationship is over. So you stood up to that devil. You did. You stood up to the devil. You said, no, no, this is not my person. This is not my person. Holy Spirit. What is this or what was this? Holy Spirit. It is safe for you to love, guys. So Spirit wants you to go forward. Open your heart to give and receive love, the highest of all. 
the highest energy of all. So although this wasn't your love, it is still safe for you to get yourself back out there and to love. Your love life is being influenced by your religious past and your upbringing. So you're becoming more spiritually aware. And you're not settling for the okie doke. You're not settling for just any old thing. Just because it looks good and it smells good and it walks great. Hell to the gnaw, right? Hell to the gnaw. Enjoy the bliss honeymoon time together. Somebody may come in. I don't know. Let your friends help you. Guys, move on. A new love may be coming in. Maybe. Uh, it may be an introduction from a friend. But, um... Let your friends help you if you so need to, but you're definitely having the spiritual enlightenment and you're learning to let certain situations go. All right, guys, let me give you a angel message here. Holy Spirit, for the collective. This is winter. This is, this is, you're reflecting on everything that happened. You're also in a space of transitioning and release. So you're releasing it. You're releasing this energy. You're releasing this energy, guys. This may happen by winter. Winter time, if you haven't already. Uh, you could be gearing up. We are in uh, July. Might as well say August. Holy Spirit. Yeah. You're looking for balance. And you're standing in your elemental um, kingdom. Like you know who you are. Mm -hmm. You're starting to know who you are. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Peace.